male reproductive system main questions reproductive system consists of testes which produce spermatozoa and male sex hormones testosterone genital ducts which store and conduct the sperm to outside associated glands seminal vesicles prostate bulbo urethral glands which secrete the fluid component of sperm it release in the moment of ejaculation into the urethra and add in to the sperm they produce 98% of sperm penis provides the release of urine and sperm male reproductive organs topography you see here testis in scrotum epididymis ductus deferens and ductus ejaculatorius and urethra this penis associated lens seminal vesicles prostate bulbouretral gland testis is parenchymal organ it consists of stroma and parenchyma stroma represented by thick connective tissue capsule outside it's called tunica albuginea and covered by mesothelium serous membrane the connective tissue septa dividing organ for lobules up to 300 lobules every lobule contain from 1 to four convoluted seminiferous tubules loops diameter about 200 microns and up to 70 cm long the free ends continue to tubular recti the whole lens of all seminiferous tubules up to 500 meters this is thicker part mediastinum thicker part of connective tissue stroma seminiferous tubules under scan electron microscope looks really extremely convoluted and this is internal structure of convoluted seminiferous tubules following freezing fracturing under scan electron microscope you can see numerous cells and in the center tails of spermatozoa the structured convoluted seminiferous tubule the connective tissue membrane tunica around it's quite thick and inside in the center the lumen and wall consists of 
Sirtuli and spermatogenic gem cells. Sirtuli cells are very large cells, looks like tree these white bases which contain a large pale nucleus is L chromatin so it's functionally active chromatin triangle or oval in shape and the body uh, go into the center and reach the lumen and between Sertoli cells located spermatogenic cells spermatozoa are different stages of development they differentiated and occupy the places from uh, basal part up to the lumen. This is a piece of seminiferous tubal wall, connective tissue membrane contain numerous myoid cells which can contract and help to release the developing sperms to outside. These are light brown Sertoli cells with nuclei. They compose uh, long processes connected by intercellular junction, which dividing the spermatogenic epithelium and this space for two parts: the basal compartment, where spermatogonia located and dividing, proliferating. It corresponds to the phase of proliferation. Then they differentiate into the uh, next adluminal compartment, which separated from basal compartment by the flat processes of Sertoli cells. So they differentiate to primary spermatocytes this tetraploid set of chromosome. This is a stage of growth uh, when uh, developing cells stop for some time in the prophase of the first phase of meiosis and it take about months and during that period the repair of gene uh, defected chromosomes take place and exchange of genes between chromosomes called crossing over take place then phase of differentiation take place then primary spermatocytes this tetraploid set of chromosome divided for secondary spermatocytes this diploid set of chromosome and then on the second stage of meiosis they convert differentiate to spermatids this gaploid set of chromosome and then phase of maturation the phase of spermatozoa formation. All these cells connected by intercellular bridges. All cells derived from one mother spermata type A pale spermatogonium. It appears about 2000 cells derived from one 
spermatogonium. It's like clone of cells. They each differentiate it synchronically. And this spermatogenesis takes place during 75 days because spermagenesis also take about one month. During this period spermatids convert to mature spermatozoa. When they're from Golgi complex acrosome developed and located in the anterior part of spermatozoon. It will release the digestive enzymes which will destroy the membranes of the ovum during fertilization. Then flagella start to grow and mitochondria make chess around main part of the tail. In addition the nucleus chromatin condensed became completely chromatin, so no translation and transcription take place in mature spermatozoa and finally they lost the excess of cytoplasm and it phagocyted by Sertoli cells. This is developing and mature spermatozoon, the head and tail and the flagella in the middle. This uh, sperm smear is mature spermatozoa. The spermatogenesis take uh, about 75 days but all the time, every day and every hour, minute, constantly at the exit of the testes, there are a lot of mature spermatozoa, more than 3,000 billion per day. How it's happened? Because the wave-like character of spermatogenesis in seminiferous tubules. Spermatogenic cycle. If in one tubule and the spermatogenesis only start, in another it's already continuing and in the next it's finished. The blood test is barrier is a barrier between blood, capillaries surrounding seminiferous tubules and spermatogenic epithelium. It includes endothelium of blood capillary, the interstitial connective tissue, lymphatic sinusoid, tunica propria, contain myoid cells and Sertoli cells body and processes which separate adluminal compartment from basal compartment. This figure demonstrates testes seminiferous tubules and between interstitial loose connective tissue with numerous large oxyphilic endocrine or interstitial cells of Leydig. There are more than 700 millions of them. After sexual maturation the amount decrease age dependently. So these cells produce 
androgen male sex hormone testosterone which release into the blood and distributed among the body and connected these target cells during sexual maturation period in boys they stimulate the development of secondary sex features and in adult it diffuse into the seminiferous convoluted tubule and stimulate spermatogenesis. Testosterone produced by lytic cells using the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria from cholesterol. This is a steroid hormone like other like female sex gomon and gomons of adrenal cortex. Two gomons of anterior lobe of hypothesis stimulate the activity of testis. Luteinizing gomon stimulating the production secretion of testosterone and follicular stimulating hormone stimulate the secretion the activity of ledic of sertoli cells and production by androgen binding protein which bind diffusing testosterone and help and provide it accumulation inside seminiferous tubule that is necessary for spermatogenesis. This microphotogram demonstrate is a picture visible in your histological preparations during the class. This is a testis under the low magnification of microscope connective tissue membrane and connective tissue layer interstitial tissue between seminiferous tubules and its the sections under high magnification the lumen visible and the wall and me membrane around and you can see the Sertoli cells and spermatogenic cells future spermatozoa different stage of development for example at the periphery the first layer occupates spermatogonia. This is a stage of proliferation. Then primary spermatocytes, stage of growth, then secondary spermatocytes and spermatids, the stage of differentiation third stage and then maturation not visible here when spermatozoa appeared built and the tails directed to the center to the lumen and interstitial tissue between there are endocrine ledic cells which produce testosterone. Genital ducts include straight tubules 
Red Testis, Ephron Ducts between 12 and 15, which compose the head of Epididymis, and they fuse to the ductus deferens, which wave in significantly and produce compose the body and tail. Then ductus deferens. This slide demonstrates the testis and epididymis. The same. And this is a microphotogram of histological preparation of epididymis. This is a head consists of afferent ductals like island nearby the body and tail of epididymis which composed by one what alone more than three meters long duct of epididymis here in epididymis ducts and ductless final maturation of sperms take place during one three weeks here get the ability for movement and synthesize the receptors to recognize ovum during fertilization. In efferent ductlets and duct of epididymis section, the different epithelium. In efferent ductlets, it consists of cuboidal secretory and prismatic ciliated cells. The movement of the cilia help to move spermatozoa and these cells secrete the fluid filling these ducts. In duct of epididymis epi epithelium pseudostratified because it consists of two type of cells small basal and long intermediate which contain stereocilia they cannot move by by help to move spermatozoa this is an electron microphotogram of secretory and ciliated cells of efferent ductlets of testis Accessory glands of male reproductive system include three glands seminal vesicle, prostate, and bulbo urethral gland. They compose 98% of sperm. They release their secret into the urethra during eaculation and it diluted sperms and feed them and provide the good environment especially necessary when uh, spermatozoa leave the body of man and enter the female genital ducts because spermatozoa should survive for several hours up to two days and the most important and uh, is uh, prostate it located around uretra just under urinary bladder so if in 
aged persons it increase in size it can push the uretra and affect even stop the release of urine from urinary bladder so prostate is parenchymal organ this uretra in the center uretra leaning by transitional epithelium prostate covered by capsule and connective tissue septa going inside capsule and septa contain a lot of smooth muscle cells they contract during ejaculation and help to release the gel state secret into the uretra lumen unusually the prosthetic glands it contain one main duct but there are up to 50 glands separate glands with their own ducts they can be divided into three groups the small glands located in the uretra wall under the epithelium the middle size in the middle portion of uretra and at the periphery main the largest glands and the secret mixed these sperms and provide them some nutrients and biological active substances and dilute it and provide them the environment in addition prostate is endocrine glands they produce for example prostaglandins both into the sperm and into the blood prostate of child not developed and glands don't secrete it don't function actively in adult under testosterone prostatic glands start to secrete the secret into it's accumulated in the lumen the prostatic glands secretory portions leaning by simple columnar epithelium in aged person the secret of glands mixed to the diet epithelial cells and embedded by calcium salts or small stones impaired in prostate prostatic concretions penis in its basis contains the erectile tissue which compose two cavernous and one spongious body which contain the uretra inside these caverns looks like very large blood capillaries leaning by endothelium it's reach three four hundreds microns and there are a lot of dense regular connective tissue around lacoons and Cavernous and spongious body and tunica albuginea, also dense regular connective tissue around the penis under the skin. The vascular mechanism of erection in relaxed state, there are few or no blood in lacoons because arteries constricted and veins relaxed and 
Acero Venula Shans Anastomosis Open and Blood Going directly to veins node into the erectile tissue coverance. During sexual excitation, arteries increase in diameter and anastomosis closed and all blood going directly to erectile tissue to caverns at high pressure and it's the reason of erection of penis. Ura tris tubular organ consists of three membranes mucous membranes with stratified epithelium middle muscle membrane consists of smooth muscle cells layers and adventitia connective tissue and this tube located inside prostate going through the orogenital membrane diaphragm called membranous part and spongiose part inside corpus spongiosus in prosthetic part it's leaning by stratified transitional epithelium in membranous and upper spongiose part leaning by stratified columna epithelium and here stratified squamous non-keratinized <laughs>